All right, so guys, I have recorded everything, but I have to time lap right now because of some reasons of my audio. All right, so I have shown you guys multiple times how to uh, get this model from the uh, light box. All right, and this is a few of my reference, and I'm gonna add more reference as by time goes. So first thing, let me explain what we need to have. All right, before even we add anything to it, we need to have base model which is this and it has some layers which is for arms and mouth open and close it's up to you if you wanted to work with that it's completely fine if you don't just break them out or delete them that's up to you all right it has eyes it has mouth feet all right i keep them for my render purpose and i might be printing it out i'm not sure yet but it looks good all right now, what I'm showing here is basically the face points where you need to add a bone shape and for the muscles where it should be, all right? But basically, it's like a um, base for making anything special, all right? And I am using uh, hotkeys for my increasing and decreasing breast size, as you can see, one and two. So that's what I have set over there, all right? So adding just base points for the face all right and you can go ahead and do that at first point or you can play with the vertex or points in zbrush with the z or uh, z modeler brush with the point move or slide or you can use simply a move brush it's completely up to you whatever you are happy with all right so there are a few things which you consider making first thing first which is like a skull shape all right or chin uh, area or cheekbones all right uh, jaw lines all right consider that things to be done at first then you can go ahead jump into eyes nose lips that's completely up to you all right so this is what i'm doing here just making some few few points here and there all right and uh, remember guys if whenever you are making eyes or nose have a few reference of the model itself don't go for random uh, reference for the eyes or something like that because there is a point of uh, um, realistic character modeling or semi-realistic character modeling if you don't have the uh, same reference what uh, the character looks like then it's no point to even trying to model a same character out of it right so I have few reference close up to the Kano itself. All right, so I might be using a few other reference of Kano, right? Now keep in mind whenever you're working, um, the nose nostril outside of it, it should be inner eye uh, point close to it, and for the lips, it should be cornea uh, corner of uh, cornea. All right, it should be lips should align to it, or the corner of the lips. All right so you can keep your model isolate this much and you can easily work with it all right that's it and that's it guys just watch it if you have any doubts questions just just let me know in um, comments i can give you answer or i can make a new video for you if you guys wanted to make like if you want me to make any other like video all right and about the ears, I would just say, uh, just get the basic shape of the ear, all right, uh, for the character. Once you have that, you can simply uh, isolate the ear and go ahead. I'll suggest you guys to work with points first to have the basic shape or outer shape, all right. Once you have that, you can go ahead inside and give the depth. You can just simply move some vertex here and there you can have it. Now here I'm explaining about the eye. I'm sorry guys, my audio have some problems. I have no idea, but I have recorded completely. Then once I check the audio quality is sucks. It's very bad, all right? So yeah, what I'm doing here is a good technique which you can use. Whenever you need to have a border mask and you, if you don't want to go ahead and add a simple, like a one word X by one word X, right? Simply, you can go ahead and masking a, uh, option. You have an option, um, mask by feature. You can simply keep border and just hit by masking by feature. It will give you a mask around the 
uh, sub tool. All right. Now here, what I'm doing is just giving a, a bone structure for the sockets. All right, and for the chi, uh, like chin bone. All right, cheek bones, all those things. Just keep an eye for the details, minor details. All right. And guys, remember, remember, don't go overhead for the sub like subdivisions. Keep on lowest as possible. Since I'm working on this character, I don't need a lot of uh, subdivisions. So I was still working on, I believe, till the uh, render, I was working on five subdivisions, which uh, was like uh, around 10 million. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, somewhere around that area, right? So. Don't go way too high on subdivisions and get confused what to do next. All right. Now, I am just simply adding a base, like a, a basic shape of the nose, even though he, his nose is not sim, uh, symmetrical. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make one side. All right. Once I need to break this symmetry, when I need to go to a symmetrical pose, I can simply work on that. All right. And about the lips, just get the basic shape. All right you can change afterwards now i'm just trying to get the base of like basic uh, uh shape and the uh what you what you what you call that uh, it looks better if you have basic all right at this point at least once you once you go like um further if you add more details or those things like that you need to add more subdivisions as well as you need to work on more details all right now if you have multiple reference this is really really beneficial for you to have an idea how the character is going to, like going to look alike all right is it going to be similar to the reference or is it going to be a way apart to it so you can easily get an idea all right Honestly, you can easily have um, close enough to the reference or you can easily go ahead and screw the model completely. But honestly, it's not an issue. All right. Just practice or if you know how to do it, then this video might be helping you for some other like tips and tricks. All right. Now, if you don't know how to get reference, believe me, there are people who had made the model, which is like a game, uh, similar to game, <coughs> excuse me. It looks similar to games or like a real stick characters, right? So you can get their reference and you can work with them. All right.
honestly i have spent a lot of time on uh, this area which doesn't like i can completely change on artworks but uh, for some reason i was spending a lot of time here all right so yeah you can avoid this same like me you, you don't have to do same like me because i was just wasting my time here all right Now this is going to be a edges, not edges. I can say it's kind of a creases where the face have the folds on it. All right, and I'll add those, but not so pronounced that you have to be like you have to smooth or work on that again. Just add basic lines. All right, it basically it's just for you for a guidance where you need to work on. And if you have any uh, any time a problem with uh, making a close area to work with, what you can do is simply keep either you can keep um, polygroups and hide the other one which you don't want to work with, and then you can simply work with the which is visible, right? Or you can simply go ahead and mask that area, and you can work with the other area, right? There are multiple play, like uh, techniques which you can apply for your work. All right, for uh, the side crease, what I had done is instead of just having playing with the damn standard brush or slash three or some other brush like that, you can even fold it. Because uh, remember, it's not you don't need to push the vertex in, right? You have to play with it. You because you need to give a slope, a proper slope. It like uh, gives a, you know, a smoothness that which is the point which you need to work on. Now I have noticed some points here that his uh, his head is quite big for his uh, complete face so I need to scale it down now on ear as you can see here what I'm doing is basically just giving a uh, area to work with I just mask that area and invert it then you can easily work with right And guys, remember, you don't need to work on a face with expression. Keep your character as expression less you can. You know why? Because once you need to work with expression, you already have the face which is like neutral. It doesn't have any expression, not an angry, happy or something. Whenever you need to work with that, you have it. Just move the words here and there. You can, you can do it easily. Now what I'm just trying to do is just give a basic lip shape, alright, 
it doesn't have to be that way because I, in future I'm gonna be like uh, moving with the uh, standard brush or like um, damp standard brush it will work a, like fine all right this is just to get the idea of the face all right to make it base like uh, normal close to it not like uh, exactly um, once you have that you can simply go ahead and add there is uh, muscles creases edges scars wrinkles whatever those things which you want to add you can easily add it all right now what i'm doing here is just uh, trying to get the idea how close i am with the model itself and um, yeah you can try this technique now i'm just trying to see on the three quarter how the looks like uh, character looks like since he the reference has a smile on his face so the cheeks uh, like cheeks will be going upwards so i'm not gonna be worried about that so i'm gonna be like uh, keep thinking of it's a slant so yeah now you can see the chin is kind of a uh, mine was like a uh, narrow Here you can see I'm just trying to add um, lids for the eye, all right. And guys, you just have to keep it like a slip, like curve, all right. And again, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use it, like a masking by borrow, all right. Then with that, you can like uh, simply puff, like uh, blur it, mask, and you can easily like uh, shape whatever you want to shape, all right. Here you go. You can see. All right. And guys, uh, working on points, I rarely work on any other parts, um, unless I'm working on hardware like a hard surface all right or if i'm just working on a character or something like that um i usually work only on eye nose not not even nose uh, eye and lips and on ear mostly on ear and eye now i'm just trying to show you like uh, how we had to add the lid that's it all right once we are done with that just going and adding a little bit of details on the nose all right remember i'm just working on symmetry uh, like uh, a, uh, i'm not working on asymmetry right now i'm just working on symmetrical all right If you need to work like a uh, move like a uh, heavy like a uh, shape or a big amount of shape you need to move just go and lower subdivisions and work with it so that's why I keep saying like keep your um, models on like lower subdivisions so you can easily come back and work with it now I'm just trying to give a basic shape of the nose which no, not even basic shape. Just keep trying to keep the uh, close to the reference. All right. We are getting there, but still not there.
no, not that. Just trying to give the muscles for the uh, jawline, all right. And keep in mind that you need to work on air, and air is not so flat, like so straight as we have on this model. We need to give a slant, like a cross, not that much, not too straight. Now, this is the good time to add those creases, all right? Now, why am I doing here right now? Because I am on second subdivision, I believe. If not, I might be on third subdivision. And this is not going to be a permanent third, sub second or third subdivision because I'm gonna be coming back on my first, sub uh, first subdivision and I can work on that. This is just to add the, the what you say, shape or clearance that I am I have worked here I need to work forward all right and if you wanted to just try something way too different than a reference calls for go ahead do either you have the uh, undo history if it's you even though if you don't have you can simply work with it that's not an issue and if you don't know how to bring that back like uh, uh, just once poly um, poly groups it's control shift Q for increase like uh, bringing all the Poly group which is visible, and if you just bring wanted to bring the sub tool, complete sub tool, it uh, it is for uh, Control Shift A. All right. All right. I uh, just wanted to inform that those things which we, I'm just adding here, phrases, it's not be like. A, permanent ones or like um, the final ones just trying it, it doesn't look good or it doesn't look good all right so keep in mind that you can try like other things not exactly that reference plus uh, Kano it doesn't have a one reference because it has a beard um, no beard complete of shape so you have other reference to work with in future, I'm going to be using all those reference as well. Now, why am I doing uh, separate lips? Because I can work on uh, just on lower lips on or upper lips. All right. So that's quite easy. And once you are done, you can go ahead on your lower subdivisions. You can smooth it and you can come back to on your higher subdivisions. You can easily uh, convert the shapes without even losing details. All right.
Now you can see the uh, similarities with the reference and our model. It is similar, but not exact what we need, right? So what I'm gonna be doing is like uh, in future, I'm gonna be shaping uh, his head a little bit more, and I'm gonna be changing the size of his neck, which I, you can see right now. All right, and few things which makes a difference. All right, and you can do the same thing you can just read if you don't know how to do it you just try it if you find something which is which is working good for you keep to keep a stick to it all right and if you don't know something which is uh, weird for you guys let me know i i think i can help you with you if no i'll try something like uh, i'll search for it i can get to it And remember the reference which we have it it is rendered in like um, perspective view and all those things right um, if you wanted to see your reference in that view just enable the um, fl uh, floor all right and that will give you the render like uh, not render uh, it will give you the shape of uh, exactly close to it is it looking good or not all right. what I have done here is I just isolate the body and I went to the uh, deformation and there is inflate. You can increase uh, the inflate by one or two. All right. If you increase a lot, it will be way too, way too fat. All right. So it won't be any help for you. Just increase by one or two. It will give you your fingers and your body uh, close what you need to. All right. And I'm trying to here add the uh, uh, color bone. And for the muscles or for the body detail, if you don't know, even though I'm going to show you here, if you want to know in detail, you can go ahead in my video. Uh, you can learn completely about it. I have explained each and every part how to make it and in detail. All right. Here, I'm just trying to show the uh, few steps where I, what I have done here. All right. If you wanted to know in detail, there is a video all right and remember for each and every characters it has a different technique to have that uh, shape but for the anatomy when it comes to anatomy it's not gonna change that much all right here just add the as for the reference calls first uh, check for your for your model is it um, humanoid completely? Because there are a few characters which you can have sim like half of the model, like humanoid or some, um, not so much, right? Now what I'm doing here, it is very useful for me especially. When you want to uh, move your arms, like uh, on straight or in any other direction, what we have from the model itself, it is good but not that good which I really don't like so for the shoulder I just divide in uh, polygroups into two with that you can easily um, uh, blur the mask you can work with it all right for this character I'm not gonna work on his legs that much because he is going to be wearing uh, pants which honestly it's useless all right so what I have done eventually I will just went once I'm done with the pants and everything I just went and chop the lower body part like completely all right below belly button i just chopped it from the from that area and i have just simple bo upper body all right now what why am i doing this uh, the reason is just for the pants to look better all right
Now, why I mask the surrounding? Because I want to work on laps. So with this technique, I can easily go ahead and push or pull the mesh without even disturbing the arms or legs. All right. Now what I'm doing here is just trying to look for the reference uh, what it needs to be, how muscular he, uh, he is or what I need to work with. So that's it. All right. Now, this is why I kept the shoulder in two. All right. So, and I can completely go ahead inside of it and add the muscles or the veins or the shape of what I want exactly. If I had that before, I wouldn't be able to work with that. All right. That's one point. And another one, you can simply um, raise his arms the way you want. All right. And that will be much better to work with. Now I have some problem with my brush recording. I just fix and then I continue. All right. Over there you can see. If you have that problem, then the solution for that is to go to strokes and you can see there is a recording uh, like uh, strokes. Just disable that. All right. Then you won't have any problem with that. Now for the um, muscles, I want just to uh, like, uh, give you some, some tips which is useful. Uh, just keep muscles close to, uh, remember uh, the chest muscles goes under to your armpit, all right? Then the shoulders comes to the center of your uh, bicep and the tricep from the top. And from the inside, it has one small muscle which uh, like uh, goes to your armpits again, all right? And for the forearms, you just have to keep two stripes on the this angle all right from the elbow uh, to your wrist all right Now here what I've just what I've just done here is just use your damn sun brush or slash three or any other brush which is your favorite. Just add the um, muscles. All right. And I've tried the same technique for the um, obliques. I'm not sure is that right name for that. All right. Those things are there. And once you need to work on uh, apps, 
you can use the same technique. Now you can see a much better um, shapes of the muscles here in this reference. So what I have just did, I uh, just wanted to give the same uh, muscles what it has. All right. So you can do the same thing, whatever you guys are working with. Maybe it can be a muscular guy or maybe a fat, maybe like, a, like similar to like a, he doesn't have any muscles that much, but it's quite shrinked. You can use the same technique. Keep your reference close to your model so you can simply see what's going on with your model. Is it going in the right direction or you're going uh, on another one, right? Now you can see uh, my shape for the model is quite like uh, going in another direction. So what I have just did, zoom out and keep it close to your reference. And you can see for the other parts of the body, I'm doing the same thing. Now for the sh uh, shoulders, it's completely up to you. If you want to make it like high, you can keep it. If you don't want, it's completely up to you guys.